So I'm printing a timing pulley out in 22 minutes and 12 cents in plastic. Not a bad deal. So this really isn't like your traditional CAD. The neat thing about OpenS CAD though is that if it's commented well like this, you just need to know what variables you want to change. How many teeth, pulley geometry, in this case a GT2, I wanted to use 20 teeth. Once you're all done, you take that code and hit generate, it generates your STL file and you send that to your slicer of choice. So I use Simplify 3D again, of course, to create the G code file that the 3D printer runs. So this actual file was made in OpenSCAD, so I didn't actually have to take the time to draw up a timing pulley, which could be kind of time consuming to get that tooth profile just right. So this would normally be something you'd have to order from like the master car or I don't know another online supplier. You'd have to wait days for this. This is one 3D printing is really cool. So there it is. Just gotta wait for the bed to cool down a little bit more and we should be able to take it off the plate. GT2 timing pulley in less than 30 minutes. So let's test this 3D printed timing pulley out. Mounts to this motor. You can get these on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Gear DC motors, they come in a bunch of different RPMs. This one's 3 RPM. The one I've got mounted over here is 30 RPM. Uh, it, I'm gonna use these on my kind of homemade camera slider. I'm using Open Builds V slot. That's what this is. Way down here is where the little carriage is. You can use these to build 3D printers, CNC machines, laser cutters, just about anything you need to kind of add cheap linear motion. 3D printed some feet here. I'm going to do a separate video on that pretty soon where I'll show you how to make this camera slider and get some cool shots with it. It's not quite ready yet for that, but I can show you how this 3D printed timing pulley works. So. Let's check it out. So this little 3D printed end mount screws on to the V slot. Our 3D printed timing pulley is in there. Locked down with a little set screw, three millimeter set screw. So I know what some of you are thinking, 3D printed part, can't be that strong, right? Let's give it a test. So I've mounted that five pound weight to the carriage you saw move up and down a moment ago. Let's go ahead and give it a try. You can hear the motor working a little bit harder, but it's pulling that five pound up weight, no problem. Not bad for a 3D printed timing pulley printed in 20 minutes for 17 cents in plastic. I'm pretty impressed. 
So this might be my favorite 3D print ever. It's not, the enable hand I made is, but this has got to be one of the top five. And it, it may seem silly, it doesn't look like much. What it does, it really isn't all that exciting on its own, but it's what it symbolizes. 3D printing has a, a lot of hype built around it right now. And that partially is built up because of science fiction movies and TV, and it's supposed to be instant. It's supposed to be cheap. It's supposed to be easy. And at this point, it, it's some of those things. It hasn't fulfilled on most of those promises. And for most people, it's still just a hobby or a, a niche or something that only companies do when they're testing a design or something like that. But it's not for everybody right now. This, I think, symbolizes something that could be for everybody. That's kind of the beauty of it. So you say, well, I don't need a timing pulley, but you have appliances, devices, cars. There's machines all around you that you buy, use every day, and they break. And sometimes you need to fix them. So maybe when your drill breaks, you don't have to go out and buy a new one. You simply download this model, hit print, and in 22 minutes for 17 cents, here's your replacement part and your drill's working again. You don't have to go to the store and buy another $100 drill. So that's what I like about this print is that it, it starts to fulfill that promise for 3D printing, that, that unattainable expectations that people expect 3D printing to be super easy, super fast. I mean, I've printed some cool stuff out, you know? That is awesome, I love it. This is also a lot of fun, and these two things, to me, are amazing, that I can even make something like this. But that's really, people don't care so much. Most people don't care how things are made. What they care about is what it does for them. This is obviously something that couldn't be made any other way through 3D printing and there's people that appreciate that. But the mass, the majority of the population really only cares what something does. And this does something cool. It fixes a part. It makes this thing move. It does something cool and it makes your life easier. And that's what I think 3D printing is supposed to do and will do in the future. How long is it going to take for mass market adoption? I don't know. For now, it's maybe just us and our FDM 3D printers making lots and lots of Yoda prints. But I imagine a future where there's more people doing 3D printing and it's something easy and maybe my mom needs a part and she hits print and boom there's her thing and it works got something cool to show you here Can you print parts? There it goes Pretty exciting, huh? Wonder where he's gonna go next. Yoda and I will uh, wait here. Actually, Yoda's going that way, but I'll wait here for you to subscribe. See ya, Yoda. May the force be with you, buddy. The motor's pretty noisy.